So in the previous part of this tutorial, you explored random walk processes. And in particular, what you should have seen is that the variance of this distribution of solutions increases as a function of time in a way that is proportional to the variance of the underlying steps that you're taking. If you glue together this random walk process with the deterministic dynamical system, exactly like the type that we did in tutorial one, what you end up with is an ornstein ollenbrecht process that has aspects of this deterministic behavior with a little bit of randomness injected to it. This OU process is a really popular model for many, many things. Perhaps most relevantly in neuroscience, it has been useful for modeling decision-making in short-term memory. And so that's something that will be gone into in um, a subsequent day in this week. So we're going to go back and just remind ourselves about the behavior of these deterministic linear dynamical systems. In this case, we have a simple one where x at k plus 1 is simply some number lambda times x at time k. And here we have an extra parameter x0, which is just the initial condition where the system started at the beginning at time 0. As you can see here, because in the simple simulation, I've made it so that lambda is slightly less than 1, we have exponential decay. Okay. If we made this slightly more complicated, we can make it decay instead of to 0, but to some other number. And that's another parameter we have here, which is x infinity, what we specify as the equilibrium long-term solution of the system. So here I'm just making it so that the system, instead of decaying to 1, it decays towards x infinity. Okay. Same time constant lambda. What we're going to do is just add one more term to this equation that is not deterministic. In particular, we're going to specify another term here where the mapping from xk to xk plus 1 has a bit of process noise. That is a Gaussian random number with mean 0 and standard deviation sigma. What you'll see in this tutorial and when you simulate this OU process is that the simulation results are comparable to the analytic solution on average, but they don't follow them exactly because we've added this element of stochasticity into it.